U.S. federal judge Daniel Jordan lifts the ban on same-sex adoption in Mississippi, describing the 16-year-old law as unconstitutional. Mississippi was the only state left in nation that banned gay couples. Now all 50 states allow for same-sex adoption. Of course, this is a huge victory for uh, Mississippi. It's, uh, it's a great thing for the nation, and this comes after four lawsuits that were really vying for the same-sex adoption. Um, and the judge, Daniel Jordan, was referring, of course, to the 2015 um, U.S. Supreme Court ruling of legalized sex mar same-sex marriage. And if there's everyone can get married, why can't everyone, you know, adopt kids? That was definitely something that he said the ban violated equal protection clauses. Um, we have a quote from the judge. Uh, he says, it also seems highly unlikely that the same court that held a state cannot ban gay marriage because it would defy benefits, expressly including the right to adopt, would then conclude that married gay couples can be denied that very same benefit. So um, because they set the law of the land, the lower courts are obligated to follow it. Um, that's what he pretty much is saying, so it's unconstitutional. But now this 16-year-old law is, is lifted, and um, it's, it's a victorious thing. And actually, 29% of same-sex couples in Mississippi were raising children under 18, but now it's official that they can, you know, yeah. say that they're the official right, guardian. because there's so. always that, that, that fishy line, you know, when, it, yeah. when a new law is passed, uh, that, that very fine line between what's legal in the state, federal laws, you mm -hmm. know, it depends. We see the same thing with weed a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, this is great news. I mean, I'm glad to see this happen. Um, if if you can get married legally, if you guys are gay, then you should also be able to you know raise kids together. I think the two go hand in hand a lot mm -hmm. of the time. But conservatives in Mississippi are probably scared. Well, you're, you're going to raise a gay baby, you know, and then, yeah. then then that worries them, you know. And you know, recently we saw you know similar laws right trying to be passed in places like Georgia, right? They were citing grounds of religious freedom, you know, in, in in ways to basically come up with homophobic laws in their in their state. And then we saw, you know, huge companies like Disney come out, right, right and kind of stand behind them, I mean, stand against them and mm -hmm. say, you know, we're going to boycott your state of, as far as dealings with business go. Um, so we saw, you know, the federal court this time, not, not big companies like Disney coming mm -hmm. in and stepping in. We saw the federal court taking matters into their own hands. So I think mm -hmm. it's cool. It was done without any incentive from, from money is what I want to say. Right. I think that's cool. Right. It is, it is definitely cool. Um, it's cool, but then there's also, I mean kind of steps taken backwards in a way because Mississippi is also on the brink of possibly passing a law that will discriminate against LGBTs, you know? I mean, the, the, what I'm talking about is religious freedom, uh, religious liberty law, so pretty much Again, it didn't get passed in Georgia, but this is religious-based organizations like churches or schools are, can deny rights to, to gay couples. Um, to get married or even to get employed. So that's still awaiting approval from the governor of Mississippi. But if that does get passed, then all this progressive, pro progressiveness of Mississippi is, I don't know, it just, it conflicts. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we saw the governor of, of, of Georgia basically veto that bill, right? But it, I think it was because of how much press it got, the fact that huge corporations like Disney, amongst others, stu mm -hmm. stood behind it. Question is, does Disney really do much business in Mississippi? Could another company that is in Disney, for example, come out and try to get you know a lot of notoriety towards this, and maybe hopefully put some pressure on the govern on the governors, you know, to to, to not to not uh, to to veto a bill like that? So mm -hmm. it, you're right; it, it does depend, and now the fate is in 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 the hands of the states. So we'll right. have to see. Because also North Carolina has the There's same kind of situation well. with the transgender rights. They're it's not really fair to, um, to that community. So it's kind of interesting to see where the governor will go. Will he, you know, go along with Georgia or go along with North Carolina? It's up in the air. But no matter what, this is still a victory for Mississippi. This is a victory for the nation. So let's just celebrate.